Hey guys, how we doing? Morning everybody. Joe here. Kevin. All right, this is the end of our trilogy of the follow-up to Schitt's Creek. Uh, yep, we our, did. Our third Chris Guest movie. Yeah, yeah we did um, uh, Waiting for Guffman, Best in Show, and now A Mighty Wind. I've heard wonderful things about this. In fact, yeah. this, this movie, um, I bought it instead of renting it on Amazon <laughs> because people's like, you're, you're going to want to watch this one multiple this times. Is this is the best one. Yeah, people really, really, but the, my friends that, sure, that sure, know we're sure, doing sure. this really, really like this movie. Um, I don't know how true it is or how we're going to, but um, I had someone tell me that it's not the funniest one of the three, okay. but it's their favorite. It's the like sweetest one of the three. Oh, I don't okay. know what they meant by that because I didn't want them to spoil anything for me and they know better anyway. Gotcha. But they're like, it's not as funny probably as Best in Show because uh-huh. Best in Show was freaking hilarious. That was my favorite. Yeah, but they said this one is a lot warmer than the, 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 than the others. Best and I don't know what that means because I felt like I felt like the other two are really warm too, or you know, yeah, like love letters to community theater and dog shows. Yeah, it, it's not. It, it's laugh out loud, hilarious, but it's not punching down. It's not mean. It's yeah, not there's mean. nothing mean about it. It doesn't make fun of community theater. It doesn't make fun. Of, it didn't make fun of dog shows, no. right? It's it's it yeah. You have these the absurdity of it. Yeah, you, like, you have these like weird people that are involved. Yeah, but you get caught up in their passion for yeah. these things, and they're things you don't really care about. Yeah. I don't care about dog shows. <laughs> you know, but th- you get caught up in the fact that they're so passionate You're about happy it. Happy for the kids. Yeah, they yeah. they love their pets. They love they love performing. You know what's what's not to love? You know? Yeah. I'm still I'm still thinking about Fred Willard and Best in Show, man. Uh, you know what? I was Kevin, how much do you think I can bench press? <laughs> well, um, someone told us on, on Patreon that all of the stuff is improv. It's all improv. It's all they, improv. They basically they basically write the scenario. That's what the writing is. Oh my and, god! And everything's like get in front of the camera and go. And which means that. Shout out to I don't know the actor, the British guy oh who played who played the straight announcer, you know, yeah. the one who knew dogs. Yeah. <laughs> had to sit there with Fred Willard when Fred Willard was throwing that stuff out and not only not break, and I'm sure there are plenty of outtakes where he did. <laughs> excuse me, but he had to like be like Off mystified. He had to be completely yeah. mystified yeah. and annoyed <laughs> with some of the funniest stuff ever. I mean, like <laughs> the one, the, the one that really killed, I think, both of us is when he was like, "It's a shame that in some countries these dogs are eaten." It, it, it is such a great joke because it <laughs> it comes out of nowhere, it's out of nowhere. And the fact that that guy would just look at him like he was horrified, he made me didn't feel to so say, like. Uh, I, I did not feel well. I had a headache. I, when we, after, yeah. when, uh, I had lunch after you were done watching it, and I was like, I have a headache right now. And yeah. I think it was just from laughing that. It was just that. 40 minutes long of Fred Willard just saying <laughs> things. Right. Like, he has to, it's like, it, you have to stop. <laughs> he, he, <laughs> yeah, he, he comes in halfway through the movie and just it's knocks it out of the park. Um, we do want to go ahead and welcome some new Patreon subscribers, guys. So, Phil French, KCA, Devoid O, and Will, thank you so much. We're very happy to hear with us in our Patreon group. Yes, we are. And if you guys are watching this on YouTube for the first time, welcome to our channel. Uh, if you'd like the like button for us, leave us a comment down below and please hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date all the new content we've come your way yeah, if you'd like to see a full length reaction to this and everything else we've watched or watching please check out the link to this in the description below to our patreon page we watch a lot of television on and on all of those shows we're at least four episodes ahead on patreon of where we're on youtube so if you watch any of them on youtube and want to keep going that's the place to do it for all of our stuff on patreon including this you'll have to sync and watch along on your own device or streaming service you will only see and hear us for copyright purposes we are currently watching 30 rock right now as a patreon exclusive as well the trivia thing up there they were written by eugene levy and christopher guest i think, guess, I think yeah i think i think all of them had guest and levy as credit as the writers well i said they wrote the music for this too which is actually really cool oh wow yeah I, yeah well chris guest did he is a music Final tap, yeah. I think some of the music of Best in Show, too, is what we saw. By the way, him in Best in Show was hilarious, too. Har- Harlan, Har- Har- Harlan Pepper. He's so good. <laughs> That's a, it's a blood dog, bloodhound. <laughs> bloodhound doggy. I wonder how many of these people are going to get back here again. Probably a lot of them. I hope it's all of them. Steinblum managed and directed the careers of such million-selling folk groups as the Main Street Singers, the Folksmen. Uh, yeah, it's Chris yeah. Guest and Michael McKean. Yeah. <laughs> it carried a message of peace and freedom, and young people got behind the message in a big way. Steinblum is survived by his wife and three children. Did you ever see um, Inside Lewin Davis? No. Tom Brothers movie. About like folk music in the 60s. Yeah. Are you, are you, are you going to be with us? Yeah. Okay. Bob okay, Bob Bob back. back, yeah. It really seemed that the only fitting no, tribute to this, this fantastic yes, human being, and my dad was, was really an amazing character. And so we're going to get another show yeah like, like uh, waiting for guffman i like how that's the that's the premise of all these things you know <laughs> putting together a show yeah <laughs> and he plays the same kind of character in every yeah. single one 
Right. Kind of the straight guy. Yeah. Really very complicated event, but uh, I'm uh, I'm pretty organized. I saw the CD. Yeah. Yeah. And I was a member of the chess team. And whenever we would have chess tournaments, I had to wear a protective helmet. I had to wear a football helmet. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> but I think that's Harry Shearer. Harry Shearer? Yeah. He... It is. Oh, wow. He. This is the three guys from Spinal Tap again. Oh, yeah, it is. Michael McKean. And, yeah, and yeah. a guest. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Stranger Man. Oh, this might be kind of like Spinal Tap. Though. Yeah, like a reunion show. Yeah. Mark was a uh, a bass, really, Same bass, bass singer, here. and I was a tenor singer up there, and so we had no... <laughs> <laughs> at the Folk Place, which was yeah. a wonderful club at the time. And we... I think he actually shaved his head or that's a yeah. cap. It's not be a cap. And we, we, we ended up getting together, and it just kind of... It clicked. It clicked. And Mr. Irving Steinblum came down. And, uh... <laughs> These stage photos are great. <laughs> That's all awesome. singing. <laughs> it's just called singing. <laughs> Wishing. Yeah. Kind of up to you to kind of center it and make mm -hmm. the actual... It would teeter crazily on the little yeah. spindle. And... <laughs> <laughs> My partner, Chuck Wiseman, and myself uh, had gotten together with... Uh, Fred Knox and Bill Weyburn and he was in uh, Guffman. He was also in something else we saw. I feel like was he on the West Wing? I'm not sure. I don't think so. But one night in uh, 1960, I'll never forget this. Uh, we were at a hootin' nanny and we were jamming with <laughs> the <hootin'> nanny, <laughs> and, and it was there just in a moment. It was all there. The Nuftet sound and the Nuftet sound. Okay, just just deal with it. Okay, you were just Dad's favorite. It. I've never said this. So Mitch does not want to do this. Mm -hmm. I think that's Eugene Levy. I wonder. Or Fred Willard. I'm assuming I don't know if Fred Willard can sing. I hope I hope he does sing. There he is. Okay, yeah. Eugene, Mitch, and Mickey. And they're paired up again. Good. Just watching these movies, it's like, of course they made one of the greatest TV comedies of all time know. together. You know? Shit's great. They, their chemistry is amazing. I love it that they're paired up in these next two movies. Yeah. You know, that's awesome. It is. It was... It's Guffman, a or whatever his name was. Yeah, the guy who thought was yeah, Guffman. Yeah, it is Guffman, yeah. I'd, I'd like to think that, that Mitch would agree to do this with me. So they're not together at all anymore. She started throwing anything she could get her hands on at Mitch. Anything. <laughs> Music stands. <laughs> Music stand would hurt so yeah. bad. <laughs> this is kind of dark. Yeah. <laughs> well, look, it's Jane Lynch again. Oh, I'm glad she's here. Yeah. They're in their state yeah. fair yeah. era of their career. Oh, there's a, a John Michael Higgins again. Yeah, Parker Posey. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I think that's Parker Posey. It is, yeah. <laughs> One of the records he put me in there with was Sunny Side Up, Main Street Singers, 1968. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> that, at the age of uh, eight years old, I went down into the basement, I made cardboard cutouts of everybody in the group. <laughs> oh, so <laughs> creepy, yeah. These were my <laughs> friends, and they were made out of gin boxes. <laughs> <laughs> gin boxes. I'm, it's gin. I'm just looking out for you. Let's not ring on the parade, okay? He's in. <laughs> Do you have a contract? Yeah. Just spiraled down to the next album, calling it quits. Rip, <laughs> 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 just going. Uh, that's funny. Nice. Yeah. That is quite a look for him. I love it. Is he rocking it's a soul like, patch? John Lennon. He does, doesn't he? Yeah. He is rocking a soul patch. Hello, Mickey. For you? It's still, it's still awkward. I don't know the name. It's, I can't remember the name, but it's very nice. How are you gonna get back? Yeah. Oh, yes. Do you like trains? I took a bus. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like model trains? Sure. Good. It's a bit of a passion for me. Well, I'm never, I was never into them, but I think they always look cool, like yeah. in museums, the yes. big giant sets. Honestly, I think they, they look great. Yeah. Yes. I, me too. Yeah. I think they're awesome. They are really cool. I think it's a pretty expensive hobby, too. Yeah. Does it matter? It doesn't. Good Foley work there. It was, it was. <laughs> he looks like he's fried, man. Who does? He's been through it, for sure. Yeah. I started playing uh, folk clubs in uh, New York City and uh, walked into uh, one such uh, coffee house. It's his accent, dude. yeah. Uh, we were the North Four. Uh, we were on stage and we had a horrible little heckler. A little guy, but with... I hate hecklers. Yeah. Something going on. All of a sudden, he's pummeled. Pummeled. Uh, crap. Lost... Pummeled out of... <laughs> he lost the fight, yeah. I knew what he wanted and I just focused on Mitch and... Oh. 
you know, I went along for the ride. Yeah, that's toxic and not going to last. Yeah. So like some gaslighting there. Yeah. yeah. Of course, these guys can all play, actually play the instruments, yeah. which is great. Good for them. Yeah. I never learned how to play the bass, but I feel like I, I always kind of wanted to. It's cool. It's, yeah. It just, we weren't wearing the old stuff, the old gear, the old... We're talking about the Dickies here? Dashery. Well, I whole think look. I'm on record as Mr. Anti-Dickies. That's the top of the sheet. <laughs> We should wear dickies. We should wear dickies. We should be wearing dickies right now. <laughs> Nothing else. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm looking at numbers and, and think this is not making music for can me. Can you say it for dad? <clears throat> Everybody's back. You can't say no, his name, can you? You can't say his name. <laughs> I love this guy. I do too. <laughs> I, mean, I, I moved away to North Dakota. I tried to get as far away as I could to actually get the singing out of my head. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Sorry, the three of them are great. I, I want to yeah. see more of them. Um, I was on the streets. Yeah, I was. I was really rescued by the new Main Street Singers, and Did they just pick up homeless people. It's kind of what it sounds like. Yes. <laughs> Asked me to be a, a part of this this band. I said, "Well, yeah." <laughs> Good for her. Yeah. Going home. I'm going home. <laughs> Needs to practice. Yeah, you are off key, my man. <laughs> As you know, back in 1970, I started on a series called What Happened? And every time something oh, goes wrong, no. I would look at the camera and say, Hey, what happened? Is he trying to do an accent with that? I it sounds so. like a really bad Asian accent, right? I think so. He had been with a group called the Main Street Singers. Now, I was never into fo folk music. I'd worked some bills with some folkies, you know. Some folkies. They used to go out, come back. They had a great time, uh, except a couple of cruises, dysentery broke out on the ship. Oh, no. You do not want to be on a cruise ship when dysentery breaks out and be knocking on the men's room door and say, will you be coming out soon? And here, I don't think so. Oh, my God. <laughs> I heard too many horror stories of cruise ships breaking down. When, yeah. and that kind of, oh. No thanks. Yeah. yeah. If you don't mind my saying so, our audience actually for some of these groups is getting a little younger. That's true. New generation finds it. I can't afford that kind of money for a ticket. And I go over there. He hands me two tickets. Doesn't want a dollar. It's your father. That's really nice, yeah. actually. Yeah. And it's a mitzvah, what your dad did. And I want to try to give that back to you. Okay. <laughs> I love NPR, by the way. Yeah. I do. <laughs> Close. Yeah, they're getting there. You What's... know the policy. <laughs> we all got to wear the uniform until we're ready to take it off. Oh, my God. That's weird. That is so weird. Yeah. You know, I was born there and came here at an early age, but we'd go back to Sweden every year, my family and I. I hear Sweden's beautiful. Oh, sure. And eventually I had a garage band in Stockholm, which was a challenge in its own right. This <laughs> is cold. Yeah. yeah. We played and I had a hit that you might have heard of, Hurelegit Little Gumman. How's it hanging, Grandma? <laughs> I'm just so happy to be here and come full circle airing this show on PBN. It's a dream come true. Well, look how positive all of yeah. this is. Yeah. yeah. It's not, yeah, it's very positive. I'm yeah. waiting for something to go wrong. Right? <laughs> These guys are awesome. They are, aren't they? We got the Spinal Tap crew. It's, yeah, it's really cool. It's great. And they're shredding right now. <laughs> oh, this is a live television show. We don't want people to reach for the remotes here. I think this is very... Well, it's public it's television. It's a very logy They don't have pace. remotes, yeah. <laughs> they don't, don't have, have remotes. remotes. Yeah. They don't have remotes. <laughs> I mean, I know he's anxious. I'm anxious. I'm always anxious. I come out. You know, I mean, we got to do something. I'm ready for Eugene Levy to, like, come out and, like, kill it. You know, yeah. That's oh, what yeah. I'm expecting to happen. In it as well. Interesting. Yeah. Well, you know, just, honey, it's a yeah. very tricky color, and I'll tell you why. It feels healthy almost, doesn't it? It, it really the does. The way they recruit the, and everything. They're weirding me out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, because it doesn't exist anywhere except... In my own mind. Oh my God, there it wow, is. Wow, yep. We have witnessed firsthand. We experience it as a lie. <laughs> we are Wink, W I N C, witches in nature's colors. Okay, so it's a coven. It's a coven. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now I know the it's word sparkless. witch may be a problem. Every point has it. Humankind is simply materialized color. Operating on the 49th vibration. Oh my god. This poor guy. Yeah. I feel so bad for him. So they do recruit people that are, that are like desperate to, yeah. the, to the group. Grab a guitar. <laughs> yeah. Locoma. 
watching all the fish swim away. I want to join the heck out of these guys. They have two. Honey, one, see that in there, honey, one. Here on the sun. Oh, this is great. I actually like this so much. Like it's yeah. It's very enjoyable. <laughs> I'm the cabin boy, call me Jim. His name's Jim. <laughs> that hair is insane. <laughs> yeah. I got an idea, a very literate reference. I don't know if you're familiar with a book about a, a, a pirate captain. His name is Moby Dick. It's not a pirate. <laughs> pirate captain. <laughs> so I thought if you could do that, we'd have someone on stage drench the whole group with water. And um, you could look at the camera and say, hey, what happened? And every Oh, my gosh. And at the end of the song, you turn the guitars and all upside down and water splashes out. Kerplunk. <laughs> it's just a thought. It's just a thought. Yeah. He's just like a breath of air in everything, isn't he? God bless Fred Willard, man. Yeah. He's the best. I love the hair so much. <laughs> yeah. My sweet, my I think these guys are playing their instruments legit, too. I think so, yeah. Is that a harp? What is that? No, uh, I don't know what that's called. We played them when I was in like elementary school oh. in, in our like chorus class that every kid had to take. It's awesome. But I don't remember what it's called. It's a lot of strings. Was that in excess? Who was it that played that? The I don't know. Uh, I can't think of the song over another song playing. <laughs> yeah. I'm also a singer. I, I'm not a professional, but I do like to sing in church and you know places like juvenile halls. You no, know, my job was when I was a theater major. I was in charge of the catwalk. Oh yeah, I'd go up and change lights. <laughs> it is pretty scary. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. It's coming up. It's about a mile. See, I'm not sure even if I'm going north or south at this point. I just... Where is it again? I wouldn't even try to drive around downtown New York. No. Find me a subway. Yeah. Or a cab. Yeah. I'll make a try left. again. Okay. Do you have a map? I, I have a map, but I don't have it in the car. You don't have a map. You have a map. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Why don't you pull over and let me drive, Alan? Because I don't want you to drive. Now I don't know where I am. <laughs> Personally, anyway, because I'm not a fan of folk music. I yeah, me too. <laughs> couldn't care less about it. But... <laughs> I love Jeff Coolidge. Yeah. We get ideas that help sell. You know, we work together very well. <laughs> Voice. What is that accent? Yeah. Amazing things that happen to the groups. Mm, some like awards. big, big, like big, like not just big, but big time stuff. <laughs> <laughs> This is a big guy. Yeah, he is. It has passed away, but he's with us tonight anyway. George Mitchell, come on up here and say something, George. Is he the only original member? Must be that's yeah. still left. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, so they did. They had quite a following. Yeah. It's like it's 1968 or 67 or 66. <laughs> A walking out into the spot. It's so impressive how he acts with his eyes. Yeah. For me, it was just watching you. Because I couldn't think about me, actually. They're going to get back together, aren't they? She, I mean, she's married, isn't she? I, 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 don't, I, I don't think so. A divorce. <laughs> the going to blow up yeah. on stage. He has a temper. Maybe he yeah. has his temper. I think, the, I think her leaving her husband for him would be too dark for these movies. <laughs> it, might, it might be, actually. Yeah. I'm a model train enthusiast. Oh. That's great. <laughs> so awkward. <laughs> Thank God for model trains. Oh, absolutely. You know, yeah. If they didn't have the model train, they wouldn't have gotten the idea for the big trains. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's how that works. Right. Yeah. He was an amazing and a wonderful, loving father. A fantastic person. She's going to melt down again. Let's all pause. Let's raise our glasses and let's hum for dad. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He's like, what are we doing? You're right. <laughs> we do this every single day. This is just like clock. What are those are um, microphones? Microphone stands. Oh, this would be annoying to have to have this guy on your hip. Yeah. It's just called a microphone, and you will get them. Don't worry about it. You don't need to write that because we we really want them. <laughs> we we really want them. Right. Yeah. No kidding. Yeah. You're gonna have a microphone there, right? If we'd stayed together, we wouldn't be at town hall now. You'd be lucky to be in Branson, opening for the Main Street Singers. You ever been to Branson? I have not. My it's mom like Vegas light. My mom loves it. She yeah. they go all the time. But I've never been. 
But tonight I, I feel good. I feel excited. <laughs> Magnificent vessel uh, into uncharted waters. Uh, what if we see sailfish? His eyes. What? Yeah, definitely fried. Yeah, yeah. And I'm so afraid that somebody could come over to sniff, to admire, and just get an eye. I cannot, I cannot entertain this guy all day. No, Mr. OCD. Well, you know, I've yeah. got a great idea. Yeah. Why don't we just get some carnations and a beer stein and just put them right up here? I don't see how that would work. <laughs> so I want to make sure we get plenty of close-ups here. I can assure you we have plenty of close-up schedule. <laughs> Yeah, the micromanaging, I'd be like, get yeah, out of here. Yeah, a lot of this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. That would be great. It would be. Yeah. Or to, when they pull back. Scorsese's not directing this. Right, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Flat from in the audience. It has basically no dimension to it. It's a stage piece, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, is this the real furniture or is this the rehearsal furniture? Well, A, it's not called furniture, it's a set. <laughs> Completely three dimensional from the audience. If you just go out that way, Mr. Okay. Steinblum. So this is the real furniture. <laughs> this is the real furniture. Is this an actual street lamp? I'm sure it was at one time. Can you have <laughs> an actual three dimensional object? <laughs> Actors and sets all the time. Yeah. No, they're not shaky. They're it's perfect. Like a wire? I see a wire. I see it. Ow! <laughs> Yeah, I'd be so, I'd, yeah I'd, be, I'd be close to that point too. It took stage crap like I need you to stop talking to me right now. Yeah. I used to build sets too. That was one of the classes we took. It's so much fun. It's like a shop class. Yeah, to build yeah. Sets. yeah. Yeah, so you yeah. guys would always tease me with those card games. You taught me cards, for heaven's sake. Well, yeah, we didn't know you were going to turn into a monster. This has been really nice so far. Yeah, it's it has. I, it's not as like over the top. It's, it's not as chaotic. Yeah. yeah. It's like everybody's been pretty positive for the most yeah. part. This flame, like all flames, represents the light and the darkness. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Also yeah, they scream Branson, don't they? No, they, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Featuring Six. the new Main Street singer, Six. The Folksman, Ready for and four. Mitch and Mickey. Four. That's cool. Yeah, this is cool. Mr. Five. Jonathan Steinblum. The monster got confused by the spotlight. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'd like to uh, warn you that uh, some of the floral arrangements in tonight's performance have dangerously low hanging vines. <laughs> Maybe poisonous. Don't become entangled in them or uh, trip, please. He is the kid that had to wear a helmet to play chess. He is, yeah. Uh, they think it's a bit. They do think it's a bit. About whom Dad used to say they were the kind of infectious that it was good to spread around. <laughs> Not. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's not. Yeah. That's not a compliment. It's a joke. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Chris Guest had the backseat too. He did. Yeah. Liberty, no oh my God! They're performing the same song. No. So they got to change their set before they go on. I didn't say a word. Yeah, go figure it out. Yeah, yeah figure something else that out. One out. Yeah. We say you can enjoy a toothpaste commercial or you want no, to I, full think, I, that's I think they've already no. brushed their teeth no. by that time. It's like, <laughs> right, yeah, yeah, that's good. <laughs> Shit. Two people doing the same song right. that doesn't work. Right. They're just going to be flat out confused. Right. You can do it at the very end, but that would be right. different. It'd still be kind of like, oh. Yeah, you can't definitely can't open with no. it. Never did no one. Yeah, look, he's not into it at all. Right. Yeah, he's just there. He's like, I don't get this. I would be enjoying this way more than he is. For I sure. like folk music. I really do. Because <laughs> it's like, it's like country, but kind like, of, right? Yeah. It, it's different enough, I guess. Oh, boy. Thank you very much. But we've all been to shows where we've been looking through the program, like, how, many, how much more of this before we can go? Yeah. I, w I wonder if they're going to steal anybody else's. It would be crazy. Yeah. I'm sure Mitch and Mickey are going to do their hits. I want to hear those so bad. I yeah. I'm going out for some air. Are you sure you're okay? Yes. Is he just going to leave? I think so. I don't want that. It might be one of those things where he goes out for some air, and then he comes back last minute. I hope so. They don't leave. Yeah, this would suck if he's just gone, yeah. <laughs> you know? It'd be, it'd be on char in character. It would be. <laughs> they sound good. They do sound good. I get what they mean by like this is the commercial for band, sure. right? Yeah. Boy, that's fun. That's really fun, man. How we sound? Letters look great. We weren't really listening. Okay.
<laughs> this is great. Yeah, it is. So Chris Guest can play the banjo too. <laughs> this continues to awe me. Man. Yeah. Folks can gather and raise the raptors high. <laughs> voice, I love him so much. I love that he, yeah, he always has to have a, like a weird haircut. Yeah. A weird voice. Oh man. And he's just wandering the streets of New York. He should have had a Wrangler. He really should have, yeah. yeah. Mitch, Mitch Wrangler. Yeah. Assistant to Mr. Mitch is yeah. the, you know, in the, in the credits. Mitch is missing. <laughs> Without Mitch, we I got garnished. We have nothing. Going to <laughs> just, well, we're going to go find him. <laughs> this is a great running bit with him. Is, I don't. Is he actually Jewish? I was just wondering the same thing. Yeah. You know, it's like, is Ed Begley Jr. Jewish? Well, the movie, I feel like he's. Well, for sure. Yeah. yeah. Maybe he's converted. Hear your best chicken sound right now. <laughs> Pretty good. That's it. You got it. Well, well, he's walk, a, walk. Walk. They're going to have to do wandering. Thank you again. Please do wandering. But yeah, I want to hear him do wandering. Thank you. Stretch it out. Stretch it out. Yeah. <laughs> yep, <laughs> there it is. Thank you for Thank having you us there. back. Uh, <laughs> we have a song we'd like to do called The Skeletons of Kinto. Michael McKean does not want to do this song. Group historian, Mr. Mark Shubb, certainly knows more about that than I do. Thank you very much, uh, Alan. Uh, in the late 1930s of the last... Wow, we're getting a backstory here. Mitch could be lying face down in a ditch. Would you consider be doing both? Time? Would be the first time. You've been on for five minutes. Oh, it's too late. It's too late, Mitch. I forgot what a selfish... It took me a while to find a good one. Oh. That is nice. It's nice. Oh, grab your guitar. Yeah, let's go. They're about to the skeletons of Kinko. In the late summer, early fall. Oh my god, he's so caught on this backstory. In the green hills just outside the city of Barth. Good night, everybody. Good night. Carrying it to the song. <laughs> and now, ladies and gentlemen, I have two words for you Mitch and Mickey. It's three words. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so these are the closers. These are the, this these is the, the big, big act. Ones, yeah. yeah. Come on, come on, Mitch, you got this. Yeah. I'm, I'm actually, worried. I'm nervous for them. I'm, I'm nervous <laughs> for them, too, yeah. yeah. Oh, when the veil of dreams has lifted. They sound so good together. Let me shit's creak. Yeah. I know this song. This is that really pretty one. Yes, it is. The kiss? Turn it up a little bit. That's cool. Yeah. So they can't like this. <laughs> Dude, this is really nice. They're all They're all gonna before. go up. Uh, yeah. Oh, that's so nice. <laughs> it really is. This is beautiful. This is really nice. I'm actually getting, getting kind of moved by <laughs> I it. I am too. More precious than a part of I know this is a comedy, but that was beautiful. That was so sincere. That was so nice. <laughs> <laughs> of course, yeah. Big ensemble. Yeah, big closing number for everybody. Blowing out a message to every woman, child, and man. Get some money. So like, <laughs> she's killing it. Yeah, she is. <laughs> I love how positive this is. It's so positive. Yeah. It's one of the movies where I, I really kind of wish it was longer. Yeah. You know? We took some very nice meetings. I ran over my ideas. Uh, they loved my idea where the kids played babies, you know, in diapers. This <laughs> makes me laugh to see babies talk like adults. This uh, guy's so the, cheesy. No, exact same. <laughs> but now... Stupid <laughs> commercials. Oh. My sister. Oh, they were all at the show, but my sister Jocelyn said, you let him on. You shouldn't have kissed oh, no. him if you didn't want to go all the way. Well, okay, come on now. It, it seemed like a goodbye kiss to me, yeah. kind of, yeah. I've never been in better headspace. Uh, I'm writing uh, poetry again. Is he back in the institution? I'm wondering, yeah. I feel badly uh, that she was misled. Oh, okay, this is funny. Yeah. I know that I uh, will always think of her fondly uh, every time. I see a rose. Paul, oh, it sounds like he came out a lot healthier. Yeah, from it. I came to a realization that I. You can rock that wig. Email folk singer 
trapped in the body of a bald male folk singer and I had to let me out. Good for you. Good for you. Put it that way, it's almost poetry. Mm. Almost. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, the deep voice is funny. It is. This is certainly the lightest of all three. Yeah, it, it, it didn't have much of a dark element to it at all. No, not, not um, really. Not really. And the others did a little bit. Sure. Um, no, nothing that was like, you know, disconcerting. But it's always like you had some people who were on the on the outside that didn't like what was going on. And yeah. I guess you had the one guy. But that was pretty small potatoes, right? Sure. And it, it, but even that one guy was like really funny. He got one over a couple times, right? You know what I mean, and but there, there wasn't anything combative in this one, you know. De- obviously, they were in competition in best in show, yeah. So there was that level of of uh, rivalry going on, yeah. Like and, the go home and get our busy bee, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, and and just everyone's competing against each other, so they're, they're hoping the other person fails, yeah. And you didn't have that here. You just had everybody like, let's make this work, and everybody was like, seemed like they were happy to be a part of it, yeah. I, it was really enjoyable too. Like I like was, there was like a, a level of support there. Yeah, exactly. You know? but that 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 naturally couldn't be there in sure. Best in Show um, yeah. because it's a competition show. In a way, this is closer to Guffman. Yeah. Yeah. I think so. Sure. Yeah, and and I like the Spinal Tap shout out. As well. Yeah, that, that yeah. was awesome. getting getting all three of those guys back together was really great. It makes me want to watch Spinal Tap again. I yeah. I, I, I have not seen it in years. I haven't either. A long time. I, when I first saw it, when I was you know teenager, yeah. I watched it several times. Yeah, like. This is the funniest thing I've ever seen. Yeah. And so I, I watched it like probably eight times, you know, in a three year period. I think of when I saw it, I had been, must have been in middle school. Yeah. Um, and it, I liked it more than I liked Monty Python. We talked about I this. Me too, right? Me too. We talked about this last week about how like people say Monty Python's like one of the funniest movies of all time. Holy Grail. Sure. Not, not, not my kind of comedy. Exactly. Right. Yeah. So you watch it and you're like, eh, it's not that good. Spinal Tap had a little bit of that for me, but I still thought it was way funnier than, mm-hmm. than that. Well, I just, I, just, I like subtle comedy. Yeah, they're both smart. Monty sure. Python is is intelligent comedy. This is intelligent comedy, obviously as yeah. well. Both are, but I feel like this is a lot more subtle in the way they structure their jokes. Yes, yes. Um, a, a, a little more character than line driven. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because I mean, like for, for a lot of people, the the Monty Python movies are incredibly quotable. Yeah. Right. They have those. They, they are quotable. They have the, They have those big lines. That, the flesh you, wound right. Wound, yeah. I mean, I heard twenty of them before I ever saw the movie. Same. Um, which 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 might have. Dampened it hurt, my experience it, it, with the movie it, for sure. Same with Spinal Tap. They turn it up to eleven, right? That kind of thing. You know? um, but but I just felt like that. You know, with the, again the subtlety is just a su- subtle humor, like throwaway comedy lines and stuff. Yeah, just kill me. You know, the the, the bigger the setup and punchline, usually the the cheaper it generally feels. Like okay, so you were really going for like what a, Fred Willard is doing, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. The, the kind of comedy he's selling. It's like okay, well, this is a this is a big bit that you worked really hard to build up to, and it, it's you know the 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 punchline is you know just blasted out there. You see it coming a mile away. Works better on stage, right? And 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 and, and 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 it's not that that stuff's not funny because it is. You know, and it's always good when you know what the you know the punchline's about to be. You're like, I'm smart, I got it. But I just personally, I, I like subtle stuff like the, the the best in show, the Fred Willard. Eat dogs eaten line came out of nowhere, right? It Everything was so, said, you know, it was, <laughs> yeah, it was so, it was so unexpected, yeah. And the, the, it, for, for whatever reason, catching me off guard like that, I, I find that to be kind of the height of comedy. I do too, I do too. you know. I, um, I'm trying to think of another example of that. I mean, obviously, yeah. Tropic Thunder Tropic is a, Thunder film, is, is is a movie where that's that. that was it, right? Tropic Thunder is a movie where, yeah, there's a big setup to the jokes. But once you set the the structure of the world and the rules sure. of the world, that's when everyone really got to play, and that's where all the comedy kind of pops out of nowhere. That movie, in comparison to say like Best in Show, it it kind of has it, it kind of says what everybody was thinking, right? But they're like this, that nobody really says this is like a mainstream thing where it's like, oh yeah, this is strange. This is a yeah. strange thing that people are doing, right? Let's talk about it. Yeah, Let's I loved it. it. Yeah, you know? I, I I absolutely loved all three of these movies for different ways. I mean, I kind of agree with my friends when they say like this one isn't as laugh out loud funny. Obviously, it's best in show. Yeah, it, and it's not the best in but, show is the funniest. Yeah, this is but, the sweetest, and then Guffman is a great intro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Guffman was a good mix of both. Yeah, I I, oh, yeah. I loved all three of them, but yeah, yeah this one was really sweet. Yeah, I, I'm, we're not doing for your consideration on this channel. Um, I, I'm going to watch it. I'm going to watch it too. I, I'm just going to say, like, I, I'm curious there, to see this. There were, you know, because like I said, I've had plenty of friends who are like, mm, it's it's not the best. It's, yeah. it's 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 a it's a bit of a fall off. But there were people on YouTube after um, 
Guffman who said it's really worth watching. You really should yeah. check it out. So I'm, we're going to, we're just going to move on to something else on the channel. Yeah, it's um, keeping fresh. Right. We've, I, I think three of them is a, is a this is our send off to Shit's Creek. Yeah, after, area. yeah, after, you know, watching Eugene Levy and Catherine O'Hara completely destroyed in Shit's Creek, we wanted to come back and watch these movies. Yeah. And I, I really did like Eugene Levy in this. I, I, I said earlier in the, sh- in the movie, um, I love how expressive he is with his eyes. Yeah. He does it in all three, like with the, with the, I think it's Guffman where he does the lazy eye. Yeah. You know, and, uh, in this, <laughs> just him wide eyed and like being full on fried. He's a, he, he's a great face actor, isn't he? He's he was, he was, he was great all through Shit's Creek as a face actor. He was. You know? I, I'm going to miss Shit's Creek so yeah, much. I, I also, I I've been, I've been rewatching it. This, sh- these movies have really opened my eyes to Michael McKean. Right. Michael McKean's great. I was a, I, he was the Better Call Saul guy. Yeah. Absolutely loved him, Better Call Saul. This is so different to see him be so sweet and sincere. Right. Yeah. Uh, also, I, I put Tubi on for my dog when I leave just so she has like a TV, like the TV on. And I came home the other day and it was, I think it was Short Circuit 2. And he's the star in that. Is he? I, and I was, I, I, and I didn't watch it, but I was like, McKean, <laughs> he looks the same. <laughs> he's looked the same for like 40 years now. Yeah, I go all the way back to Laverne and Shirley, you know? I've never seen Laverne and Shirley. I know it's like a big, obviously, spinoff of Happy Days. Yeah. Yeah, I, I need to check there's that like, out. There's too. like six spinoffs of Happy Days. Yeah, Mork and Mindy. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, but still, Michael McKean, always great to see him now. Uh, love him better, Call Saul. Love right. him all three of these movies. And maybe eventually I'll watch Short Circuit 2. I don't hear good things about it. Yeah, I probably will not. <laughs> I watched Short Circuit as a small child and yeah. thought it was funny, then realized, oh, wait, we've got some really problematic, awful things going on here, yeah. including what's-his-name in Brownface. Uh, it's uh, the guy from Succession. Yeah. Um, Fisher Stevens? Fisher Stevens, right. Yeah. Is, in, is, in, is doing full-on Brownface. He is. Um, which, you know, different time, I guess you can try to defend it, but it's still tough to watch. Yeah. And let's face it, it's just not a good movie. Yeah. It's just no, it's goofy. Not. The second one looked quite bad, too. I, I'm sure. Um, but no, this has been a great series of movies. Yeah, this, this, these I, have been a lot of fun. Have to watch I, I've looked forward to them all, all week each time. Like, hey, we're going to watch a movie on Friday. Um, and that's going to be our structure going forward. So yeah. we'll probably do some Patreon polls as far as like categories and like what should be watched. You know, what do you guys think we should be watching? Because I mean, we, we, I like to think that you and I are fairly film literate. Like we've seen yeah. a lot of movies. I was a but, film major. So right. But we, it. yeah, but, but we've it's seen a lot of blind spots, a lot of blind spots right? Like you, you want to get into like the Godfathers and, and you know Lawrence of Arabia. You know I've seen obviously seen a lot of those. I've seen the first half of Lawrence of Arabia. Right, <laughs> <laughs> I, I've seen it all, and it was a it's four hours, right? It's beautiful, but it's a there's yeah. an intermission, and you need to take it. Um, but like yeah, it. there's a there, there's obviously you know millions of films out there, and, and and a lot of big ones that I just didn't see because I just didn't see them. Like okay, you know, I, there's a lot of newer ones that are out too that I haven't seen. Sure. Uh, I'm not a film snob. Like I do like the oldies. Right. So this movie has come out and I haven't seen a lot of the newer ones. Um, talking beforehand about a movie that we might check out next week, uh, that we both haven't seen. So keep an eye on that. You know, if you guys have any suggestions for right and, and, a genre and, and we'll let you know, like if you say, Hey, you should watch this and be like, well, we've both seen it. So we're sure. not going to watch it on the channel. Um, sure. You know, there's no, no point in it. Um, yeah. but, but for, for there's, there's, Plenty. I'm a guy that when I find a movie I like, I'll watch it multiple times. Yeah. Instead of like watching everything, you know what I mean. So I I definitely like I can quote Fletch to you all day long, but I've never seen plenty of movies that everyone's like, I can't believe you've seen this. I've watched the original Roadhouse many times. Exactly. (laughs) Yeah. We 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 have those movies, right? Um, Up until last year, my big one from last year, uh, I had not seen ET. Right. Yeah. Until last year, so that's. You know, there's some blind spots for all of us out there. Right. Guys. And I haven't seen E.T. since I was like eight and don't remember it, except I know I got really sad because I thought he was dead for a while. <laughs> That's all I remember about the movie because I was a small child. Yeah. All I right. can see that mess a kid up. <laughs> yeah. We'll catch you in the next one, guys. See ya.